Greetings, Cropture here, and this is Raid Shadow Legends free to play challenge for 2024. Powered by Hell Hades crew. Let's check a look where we are. So, level 53. Uh, day of the login is 39, 38, something like that, technically. Um, yeah, so the fusion is almost um, end. So let's take a look where I am. So going to the fragment summons, we got the White Queen Ancora already prepared and ready uh, for the uh, summon. So 100 uh, fragments is here. Okay, let's do it. So Queen is coming. Another legendary. Still 500 points, so because uh, Champion Chase Tournament is on. Great, so yeah, she will be great uh, addition, so I will explain my plan a little bit later, how I'm planning to build the team with her, uh, but quickly check the tournament. So, tournament is about 30 minutes to complete. And currently I'm sitting on the place, come on, come on, fourth, okay, so hopefully this uh, epic book is coming, I don't have any um, <clears throat> shards to open to get more points and what I see from the uh, past two hours, those guys are pushing, uh, so I don't have any resources to push to get more rewards, but that's fine. Uh, so I reached the uh, milestone to get this another legendary book, this is great. Uh, so as I calculated, I will have all the uh, required uh, books for Ratalos, so I got five legendary books. So Ratalos needs mo uh, one more here, two, and one more here. So four books. So I will have uh, one additional book for the Queen. That's great. But I'm not putting books right now, so waiting for some kind of uh, champion training tournament, which should be starting very soon, because this is uh, normal. We all, all the time have uh, champion training tournaments or events. So whatever. Um, okay, so what's my plan? So having uh, Queen on the account uh, regarding... Uh, let's take a look quickly to the skills once again. So A3, so this is on a free turn cooldown revive. It means I can lose someone and she will revive him and reset his cooldown. So potentially that's a good candidate for the Ratalos. So probably I want him to die a lot. <laughs> that's the idea. Because he could uh, revive him and uh, reset his uh, cooldowns. Which is good. Uh, so what is my current build? Uh, I, thi I think this is some kind of early build. Uh, in the game, so uh, you're using uh, lifesteal to just uh, have some kind of sustain and uh, stay alive in the battle. But now with the reviver I could drop uh, lifesteal and change it to something else. I did some uh, research and I uh, researched and I, what I have currently on the account. So I've got plenty of Ratalos set items that I managed to level up. I even got legend uh, mythical one, but badly rolled. <laughs> Everything missed speed, which is shame. And another boots, but flat HP, also not perfect. Yeah, but uh, probably I will find something that can be useful and build this mm, set with more pieces. So. I think the perfect solution or spot where to be is to get six star, uh, six uh, pieces uh, to additionally ignore thirty percent of the defense when using AO skills, because uh, Rotalos AO AOE skill is this A3 and the, the only one. Yeah, so it will and if it will be on free turn cooldown, so this will be huge generally, I think. 
Yeah, uh, so what I currently have, I got uh, am Amulet with the crit damage for, for him, which is super. And also some... <clears throat> um, what is this? Banner, yes. Uh, banner for Banner Lords, uh, but no speed, no... Attack is 10% attack, not bad, but some defensive stats, so to keep him alive, prefer something. Uh, with attack and attack percent and speed, so that will be perfect. Also accuracy, because he needs accuracy for his um, <coughs> brimstone to proc, because smite needs uh, accuracy, as I know. Yeah, so I'm planning to rebuild him, uh, put uh, give him more Artalos uh, sets, uh, artifacts, yeah, so he will be doing a lot of damage. So currently he has uh, 26,100 of 8 attack. Yeah, good. good. Uh, crit rate is okay, but uh, crit damage is not, also not great, but it is what it is. Yeah, so that will be plan to uh, rebuild uh, him and put um, to the all the team's uh, queen, so she will be reviving him. Uh, in the process I also upgraded Mordecai to 6 stars, uh, so yeah, so I need to train him uh, right now, and yeah, that will be here. So my now uh, team composition will look like this, so Deacon for sure, so lifesteal and uh, defense uh, down, yeah, that's one thing, um, Ratalos. Uh, Mordecai uh, with uh, burns and uh, all the turn meter ma manipulation, so I'm collecting uh, epic books for him. Queen uh, to just bring back uh, Ratalos and also do some uh, clan stuff, right? So remove all debuffs, put a shield, and even this A1 to have a chance to reduce um, cooldowns of the random ally. This is on the random, so it's tricky. Yeah, but it could be useful. Yeah, so that's uh, the uh, four man uh, core for the team dungeon teams. Uh, and then I can uh, have one slot uh, for each dungeon to put someone uh, very specific for specific dungeon. Uh, so got Coffin Smasher, got Toragi, Ato, Bellower, so I can have plenty of. Uh, of options uh, to fill the last slot. Also, new champions are coming that will be upgrading uh, sooner or later. Yeah, so we need to figure out what to do. Okay, so the plan uh, for the next uh, few days will be uh, to run Minotaur, right? So I need to run Minotaur and uh, train um, and give masteries to Queen. Uh, finish Coffin Smasher and Mordecai. Yeah, so that's a lot of energy. This will take a few days. Okay, so that will be all for, for today. So thank you for uh, staying here and uh, yeah, have a nice day. Cheers.